What's up? This is your girl Kathy St. John. I would say Kathy St. John is a young, intelligent woman who's been through a lot in life. I feel like it's my turn to represent you from where I came from. I've been in the music industry since I was eight years old, singing for my mother's uh, community choir that she put together with all the little gang members and hood rats, whatever you want to call them. I got started. Uh, through singing, like I said, with my mother and in the choir at church and uh, things like that. And then just watching different people do the singing and the entertaining all together just inspired me. And it excited me and it made me, as a younger child, realize that this is what I want to do in life. The most challenging has been, wow, the there's been people in the industry that will try to test you. They'll try to test you physically, mentally, any way they can to try to get in your pants, to try to get in your head, whatever. So basically what I'm trying to say, the struggle has been with people, you know, giving you, selling you dreams, should I say, that you already know are not gonna come true, all because they want a piece of you, a piece of your soul, a piece of your body. And the hardest part has been keeping my morals and values and going by what I believe in and what my mother and my grandmother taught me to be. That's been the hardest part. I know Beyonce, she's my age, we're around the same age, but I'm really inspired by her because she's a young, beautiful, intelligent woman and she reminds me of myself. She stuck by her morals and values through all the struggles she went through and she stayed in there and never gave up. Mary J. Blige has inspired me. Um, Karen Clark shared she's a gospel singer she's inspired me so those are a few of the women in the industry that have inspired me and there's many more such as Lisa Keys and the list goes on my up-and-coming album I'm finally finding out that I'm more secure in my singing and who I am and I know that I don't have to stay in a box really on this album I'm trying to find myself it's showing that I'm a risk taker and that I'm willing to do something different that's out the box. A producer by the name of Jab, he helped uh, produce several artists out there, platinum artists, uh, Destiny Child, well Beyonce, I'm sorry, being one of them, he helped with the Dangerously in Love track, for, well actually he helped produce the song. Uh, other people that I've worked with are Double E, uh, in Atlanta, Georgia. He's with Eclectic uh, Records. Um, Street, he's out of Monroe, Louisiana. Uh, there's other people, a guy by the name of Dre. I'm done with you. I've performed with a lot of the rappers and a lot of the more hardcore R&B, and uh, such as uh, Young Jeezy, Young Jock, uh, Lil Boosie, um, Shauna of DTP. The most memorable performance was in um, hmm, Florida. In Florida, I had a performance where Shauna of DTP invited me to go to Florida with her. I was basically on the stage with her to be kind of like a hype woman, but the experience to me was off the chain because the reaction the crowd gave to her, it felt like the crowd was cheering me on it. I was like, oh, thank you, You're cheering for me. But really, it wasn't for me, it was for her. Colorful. Everybody's looking at me. Could it be? My style, my clothes, my hair, my shoes, my attitude or my do. Why? I got them white boys looking at me, black boys looking at me, Puerto Rican boys saying, damn, who is she? Thank you. Kathy St. John. <laughs> That's a wrap.
Jones. I ain't hit a bite off the one.